Hey everyone, today let's talk about some of the key things you need to know about cataract surgery. All right, first, what are cataracts? I like to use an analogy to help describe this. We'll talk about your eyeball like a camera and your brain like a computer. So your camera has three main parts. You have the lens, you have the Kodak sensor, and then you have the USB cable which connects the camera to the computer. Cataracts are the natural yellowing of that crystalline lens. Just like a tree grows rings every single year, your lens grows more yellow with the passing of time. So what happens in cataract surgery? The goal of cataract surgery is to remove your eyes and natural cloudy lens and insert an artificial lens implant into its spot. Cataract surgery can be viewed in three main steps. Access, removal of the cataract, and insertion of a lens implant. In the very first step, we use small handheld knives and blades to make small incisions into the cornea to reach the cataract. Next, to remove the cataract, one of the first steps that we do is we create a round opening into the capsule of the lens. Next, we use ultrasound to break up the cataract into teeny tiny pieces before using a vacuum to remove the cataract. Once the cataract has been removed, we now insert a lens into that spot. So what is laser cataract surgery? Laser cataract surgery, sometimes called femto-assisted cataract surgery, is when we use the femto laser to help us with some of the key steps in cataract surgery. Since that laser is super accurate and precise, I'm a huge fan of that laser. Before we even begin cataract surgery, the laser scans the eye, getting accurate measurements of the cornea and the lens, so it allows me to create a custom, personalized treatment for cataract surgery for you. Next, the laser creates these very precise cuts into the cornea. And also, it breaks up the cataract into small pieces for us, reducing the ultrasound energy that we need for cataract surgery later on. The one critical step that the femto laser does for us is it creates a perfectly round opening into the capsule. This is vital at creating a very stable environment for cataract surgery, and for that reason alone, I do recommend femto-assisted cataract surgery. All right, so now for the fun part. What type of lens options do we have for you? Broadly speaking, there are two types of lens implants. There's a monofocal lens and there's a multifocal lens. A monofocal lens has one focal point. Typically, this is set for far away. So in this type of lens implant, you can see far away pretty well, but you'll definitely need reading glasses to see things up close. In contrast, a multifocal lens has multiple focal points. So you can see at distance, intermediate, and up close pretty well. This lens is not for everyone though because you really have to have a good healthy cornea and a very healthy retina to be considered a candidate for this lens implant. So if your eyes are healthy and you're considered a candidate, I definitely would recommend checking this lens out. There's one more twist to everything and it's called astigmatism for a toric lens. Astigmatism means that your eyeball is not perfectly spherical like a golf ball, but more shaped like a football. In truth, everyone has some astigmatism. However, if you have a lot of astigmatism, we should definitely use cataract surgery as an opportunity to correct for it because astigmatism causes blurry vision at all distances. This includes far away and up close. I look forward to talking to you in person about cataracts and cataract surgery. And remember as always, your eyes tell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.